Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. We're talking about pumps today. Specifically, we'll be showing you how to prime the high pressure oil pump on a 6.0 diesel engine after you replace it. We'll also provide some helpful priming tips, things you can do if you experience an issue while you're trying to prime the system. Ford Diesel Engine Program Manager Gavin Burns has more. Most often, high pressure oil pump problems are caused by the system feeding the pump rather than an issue with the high pressure pump itself. Once the pump has been replaced, the first step is to properly prime the system. Crank the engine for about 30 seconds, then repeat this procedure with 20 second intervals in between, as necessary or until the engine starts. If there's no oil pressure indicated on the instrument panel, then this may indicate that there's not enough pressure to supply the high pressure pump. If the base engine oil pressure is too low, check the oil flow from the base engine oil pump. Base system flow is usually the primary issue. After you've removed the oil filter, hold down the oil drain valve on the left side of the housing with a screwdriver and crank the engine using the rotunda auxiliary switch. A switch gives you the best control in this operation. While you're cranking, watch for oil flow from the base engine oil pump. If there's oil flowing, use the updated diagnostics for the high pressure system. If there's no oil flowing, diagnose the base engine oil system using the workshop manual or go to motorcraftservice.com. Once we've determined or corrected the oil flow, we'll check the injector control pressure or ICP using the IDS or integrated diagnostic system. What you're looking for is a pressure of at least 500 PSI to start the engine. If you don't have enough pressure, check the ICP voltage. It should read between 0.15 and 0.35 volts with the key in the run position and the engine turned off. If the voltage is not within these specifications, the ICP sensor is likely faulty. If there is a loss of pressure or the pressure stays low while cranking, check to see if there's debris contaminating the injection pressure regulator, or IPR, by removing the IPR and inspecting the screen. If you find debris, remove the oil cooler and check the cover seal for deterioration. Then, check the reservoir for debris contamination. A cause of low or slow to build injection control pressure could be an aftermarket oil filter. One thing in particular to check is the filter height to see if the filter is too short or too tall. Aftermarket filters have so many variations in specs that some don't fit correctly, which can cause oil flow restrictions or drain back. When you're performing diagnostics, check the oil filter for correct fit and application. Also, check the standpipe, valve, and housing lid for damage. If you don't find signs of damage, go ahead and install a filter that fits correctly, such as a Motorcraft FL2016. Thanks, Gavin. Next, let's take a look at what makes a Motorcraft oil filter such a great choice. You can always be sure that your Motorcraft oil filters will fit and operate properly in a Ford engine, with no danger of drain back or other filtration issues. Motorcraft oil filters help protect against engine wear by screening out abrasives such as carbon, sand, dust, and bits of metal before they can get into your engine. A Motorcraft filter removes particles as small as 20 microns, or less than the third of the diameter of a human hair. Motorcraft oil filters are available for all Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury gasoline engines and for Ford Power Stroke diesel applications. That's all for this post. Join us for our upcoming Ford Power Force Tech Talk posts on installation and repair tips for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.